This time I'm going to be working in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 2 and the subject of today is uh, using colors and, um, and applying uh, color adjustments to an image. Um, and I thought this one was a really good example because um, I was working on it and I was able to make quite a lot of um, adjustment to it and, and make it into something that I really liked rather than something that I was just a bit more sort of ready to throw away. Uh, this, is, this is just an image of our daughter that we took at a strawberry picking farm recently and I was just kind of sorting through them and um, I found this one and was just kind of working on it and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a video about this. So anyway, um, you'll find the, the color panel here in, in, the, um, in the develop menus and, uh, and you have a choice of, um, of tweaking the things in different ways. Um, but uh, I use the I'm using the hue saturation luminance panel, and what I'm trying to do is trying to get the blue in this sky to come out. So what I do is I turn up the saturation for aqua and blue, and I turn the luminance down. Um, so where it was overexposed, uh, because I was exposing for Sophia, this brings it back into into play, and you actually could see some of that appear in the histogram there, where before it was off to the right of the histogram. Um, so that's another benefit of shooting RAW as well, is that you can you can do more with your image like this. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do was just turn the uh, the grass down just a little bit to make her kind of stand forward of it just a touch. I uh, might even just pull the saturation down on that just a tad bit. And then um, also the magenta in her shirt's a little bit loud, so I turn that down just a touch. And uh, because we've got the blue going on, I put a little, push a little bit of yellow into it. Um, you know, I might even just lighten the yellow up just a little bit there. Um, uh, I've done some other things to the image. Uh, you know, a little clarity, a very, very faint vignette that you could barely notice. That's kind of one of the things that I do. I don't like it to be noticeable. Um, but anyway, those are the color adjustments, and I can turn them off and turn them back on again right here and I don't know if you're anything like me I kind of prefer it with those blues and, and yellows uh, the way they are adjusted and the magenta turned down if, if you look at this picture what stands out your eye gets drawn to this magenta shirt and um, and also then your eye looks up at here and just sees this huge white space uh, so those two things kind of surround her face and compete with the color adjustments something a bit more sort of natural and balanced about the whole thing in my mind and um, I mean you do get this this blue area that, that may draw your eye a little bit but I don't know I just liked it better uh, so anyway that's that's that looks like I may have you know, caught some something going on there I could uh, I could heal that out but I think I'll just leave it um, anyway so hopefully this was useful to you, the, this uh, look at the color panel. Um, I use it quite a bit, um, especially the um, when I'm trying to draw attention to a subject in portraiture. Um, so uh, yeah, so shoot raw, use Lightroom. Uh, you, you can find similar uh, controls in Photoshop as well, a little bit harder to use. Lightroom's you know, really simple for this. Uh, so anyway, hopefully that was useful.